Welcome back now to our half hour special honoring legendary country singer George Jones. Reaction to Jones' death, of course, has been pouring in all day. It has, and one of the first people we heard from today was Charlie Daniels. Charlie told us that uh, he spent his morning trying to find the words to post an entry about Jones on his blog. Daniel says he first heard of George when he was in high school and later went on to actually work with him, both writing songs and singing duet with Jones uh, called Fiddle and Guitar Band. Charlie says that you can pick Jones out of a thousand singers. He was a great man that left the world with great music. Just had a way of just holding on to a lyric and just kind of twisting it, turning it, turning it loose of it at just the right time. But it's just nothing more than a God-given talent. He just had a way of saying it and making you believe him. He sang for everybody. He sang for, you know, people in all walks of life, all strata of life. Everybody got to, got into George Jones. He touched something deep down inside of most of us. Good to know that even though he's gone, he's going to be with us on record for, from now on. Charlie Daniels and George Jones' collaboration two years ago on Aaron Lewis's song Country Boy was another memory that stands out. Last September, I had a chance to do a rare interview with George Jones at his home. It was the last interview he did for Fox 17, and he talked to me about his health, retiring, and how he wanted to go out on top one more time. Jones' health issues started about this time last year when all of Nashville came together to celebrate his 80th birthday. I wanted to, to sing a song for you tonight, but I've got a little laryngitis. His time back on the road was short-lived. Jones was forced to cancel several shows. He was even admitted to the hospital twice because of serious respiratory issues. It scared me. It made me lose my appetite, and I couldn't eat nothing. I lost about... 22 pounds. Now, on his 81st birthday, I'm feeling so much better. The possum is back out on the road again. On the road again. Yeah, we're, we're back. We've been back on about four or five weekends now. People still love the old man, I guess. But after seven decades on stage, Jones has decided it's time for his career to come to an end. Well, you know, at my age, and of course, you know, my wife is not a real spring chicken anymore, even though she thinks she is sometimes. We are getting up in the age that we want to kind of do some things we want to do. Before he puts the mic down for good, Jones is giving fans one last run. He's calling it the Grand Tour, named after his number one song. If you'd like to turn. Jones says for his final farewell, fans can expect a little more than they're used to. There are some big number one hits I had that I haven't been including. And I want to do, I want to bring them in. He will also have some new songs to sing. Jones is releasing one last album as well. We're going to surprise him as much as I can. In my mind, nobody will ever sing better than George. For emotion and heart and feeling. I love him. Dolly Parton broke the news that she's writing a few songs for the project, but Jones tells us there will be several legends contributing. I've got some songs from Little Richard. Little Richard wants to do a song with me. I'll probably do about four duets and then uh, probably ten, you know, by myself. Jones says he has no clue how he's going to spend his time as a retiree. As it is, he can't do the one thing he's always loved most. Well, I couldn't mow because of the allergies and things that I got. But, and I miss that more than anything. I do my best thinking, even though it sometimes gets me in trouble. So far, it's uncertain what will become of that all-star sold-out finale concert Jones had planned to have in November at Bridgestone Arena. For now, just hold on to your tickets, and as soon as a decision is made, we'll let you know. Up next, Graskill's singer Jamie Johnson joins us live in studio to talk about his connection to George Jones. And also, we take a look at some of the musical milestones of the Possum's career.